Maybe you remember that stereo set here. I have a small problem with the preamplifier. It turned out that some of the switches are a little bit scratchy and sometimes I have the feeling that one channel is lower than the other so the stereo uh, panorama is shifted to one side and as soon as I touch the, the buttons here for example here the tape uh, monitor switches uh, that changes so I decided to take the switches out and clean them and well uh, let's see if that works the problem now is I only have my soldering iron here and some soldering wire and I don't have any desoldering um, braid or anything else so how do you desolder a six pin uh, switch without the proper tools. Well, I found a trick and I will show you that. The closest thing to this soldering wick or this soldering bread I have is this very fine uh, wire here. So I thought it could work like that. So, as you can see here, it's has very fine strands of copper wire. Now the problem is uh, this soldering bread is normally soaked with uh, flux and this one of course doesn't have any flux, flux and I don't have any to soak it so the only flux I have is inside this soldering wire. So what I do is I put a little bit of that solder to my wick here, hoping that enough flux will now soak at least a part of the wire here. And now let's see how that works. So let's test the first one here. It doesn't do at all. So let's put a little bit more fluxed solder on it. Yes, and it seems it works a little bit better. Yes, that's already two. I need a new part of wire. Some fresh wire. I pull that, twist that together a little bit. Pretty well. That one too. Let's see if this bent contacts here are always a bit difficult. Yes, that looks nice. Okay, that's not bad for an improvised tool. So let's take that switch off the board here. <coughs> okay. Here it is, ready to be cleaned. Uh, through the microscope you can see that uh, here is damage I made. But that's not a problem because the track is going that way through this capacitor here.
so I only scratched a bit of the green paint. And you may probably wonder that I have a microscope, but no desoldering wick. Well, uh, sometimes such things happen. Now, how to clean that switch. We first have to open the case, which is a little bit easier on this one than on the tape monitor switches because they had a metal clip around it that has to be bent open. Um, I need my screwdriver. So the next step is to retract this spring here because the spring holds the the top cover in place or the two covers in place. Then there is an additional clip here and if this has unclipped, it's this metal part here that clips into the, the cover. We can disassemble that now. That's the moving part. And here we have the two contacts that slide forth and back and connect either the center and the rear or the center and the front pin here. So we can simply remove those. Um, the contacts don't look too bad. But I will still clean them. And for that I need a toothpick and some metal polishing uh, stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know the name. Something like that. And I put a little bit of that on my toothpick and roll it in. I know there are some sprays around, contact cleaning sprays. The problem is, first of all, I don't have one here. And the second problem is, if you just spray the contacts, and leave that stuff inside it will start to probably to corrode your contacts after a long time so the best way would be to clean the contacts with the spray and then wash the spray out with some other cleaning solvent but I think my met method here is probably better because I don't leave anything inside the switch. Okay, after the polishing with the polishing stuff I take a little bit WD-40 on a cotton swab here. And I simply swipe across the contacts to remove all the polishing material and also to give it a little bit of oil to make it move a little bit smoother. Now we have more to clean. We'll take a little piece of paper and I slide the contacts here over it and that cleans off everything that sticks between here. And you can probably see there are some marks, some dirt. And I also put some WD-40 here on the paper 
only a drop or two. And I slide this across the oil part and across the dry part. So I have a two stage cleaning, a little bit of oil and dry that off on this part here. So everything is cleaned, let's put that together. The switch is complete again, it works, sounds nice. Uh, let's put it in. I don't want to bend these pins again, so I hold it here with one finger and I solder one or two pins just like that. And then we do a correct soldering. is that. And just in case you're wondering where all this ticking sound comes from, that's my master clock here. I bought that on a, on a flea market and I cleaned it and fixed it and it runs very precise. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.